Very welcome to Railers Play, an extra broadcast this Monday morning, 7 o'clock. Because this is a very special morning for Railers, as we are announcing a public bid to be able to merge with a great technical consultant of Eurocon, founded more than 30 years ago. I would like to take the opportunity to comment three aspects of this strategic initiative and offering. Firstly, of course, the reason for doing it. And the main reason for doing this is that we can see that a merge of Railer Sweden and Eurocon makes a stronger, a much stronger company than side by side. Eurocon is one for sure of the leading process and project oriented technical consultants well known for its very skilled engineers with a strong footprint in south in the middle and certainly in the northern parts of Sweden. Doing joint forces with Railers Industry Division, as it would be, uh, would create a new, let's call it a new animal in the park, being able to take even larger responsibilities with clients within pulp and paper, energy, steel and, and mining and more industries. Railers and Eurocon together will create or would, or I don't know how to say it, but would create a brand new industrial offering to the most interesting clients from Malmö up to Kiruna and Gällivare up north in Sweden. One of the top two offerings in Sweden. One of the two top offerings in Sweden, definitely. Secondly, I would like to comment employee development. Railers and Eurocon United would bring skilled people together all over Sweden, creating an even more dynamic environment than apart. We're already today collaborating in, in, in client projects, certainly up in, in northern Sweden, and know that the culture is very similar in between the companies. We share, I would say, a culture of being market underdogs, challengers, you could say, and also being very personal and hearty companies with, with, uh, with, without not compromising on, on top quality in every project. That unites our companies. There is also a professional history in between Eurocon and Railers where, with, with management teams knowing each other for a very long time, actually been working together uh, in, in back in the days. So this is not coming to the table with strangers, definitely not. We know each other already. So finally then, looking at the future. If we will succeed with this public offering, a new journey will start in between Railers 81 years and Eurocon 32 years. I'm, I'm a little bit excited. Uh, you know, I've been part of making more than 100 mergers in this industry during my 20 years in this, in this business, in the technical consulting sector. But this one is special. And from everything I've learned, I know that a merger must be built on mutual respect and a step-by-step -step method. And this method and roadmap will be built in between Railers and Eurocon management as soon as it's possible. I would also like to say that this is not a merger built on cost synergies. Not at all. This is a merger, a proposed merger built on forecasted major market capacity and sales synergies. And of course, as I said, employees from two sides getting an even more exciting workplace together. That's my three bullet points, but last but not least, we are talking about two, two equally strong companies, two equally strong companies recently, very recently, leaving 
a 2022 with record growth and record results. Also that is of course very promising for the future. Railers and Eurocon aligned would make a new technical consultant with close to 4 billion SEC in revenues, 330 million EBITDA operating profits pro forma 2022 and more than 3,100 great employees in Sweden, Finland, Norway and UAE based in, in offices, uh, some 80 offices more than 80 offices. We are not there yet. I, w I must say that even though I'm excited. We are announcing this very day but we have a, a very strong plan of getting there and start working together. Thanks for watching Railers Play this extra broadcast as, uh, and see it as an information step number one on the roadmap of Eurocon and Railers United. Thank you very much and have a good Monday.